Hello, my name is Nicholas Kadulig, and this is my level, the Arcade. This must be the Bastion's Arcade. I need to get to the manager's office. The only way to do that is by using the football machine inside the Arcade. Okay. So if we that were to... generator in the mud is being damaged. I need to figure out a way to stop the water from damaging it so I can enter through the front door. If we were to walk up to the door, uh, you can't open it, but... We see this generator uh, with the particle effects. Uh, stop the border from getting to it with uh, this lock. Does this coin even fit in the arcade machines? Okay, uh, it opens the door. Uh, walk up to the door. Wow, that is a lot of mines. I probably shouldn't go this way. I should find another way to get inside. Okay, you can go through that way, uh, but uh, each mine takes 40 damage, so if you were to hit three of them, you would die. But we see this right here, this fan. Jump up Just onto look the at roof. that billboard. That is such a great deal. Uh, and then we enter through the roof. All these uh, are interactable. The, uh, even the uh, pool cues and uh, pool balls. But uh, we're going to take that down, and now this is the front entrance. Like I said, all these are interactable. Uh, there's a coin Does right here. Does this coin even fit in the arcade machines? Okay, that pressure over. plate looks like it opens that door. I need something heavy to put on it. Okay, so... If we were to try using a arcade machine, it wouldn't open. Uh, but this is, this block is a little bit heavier. It's like a, a metal block. Pretty huge metal block. Okay. Opens the it door. It looks like the football machine might be in the far right corner. I should probably go check it out. Well, these are interactable as well. And throw them around. There's Does another this coin, coin right even here. fit in the arcade machines? I better not go this way. There has to be a way to get inside this other room. Article, uh, arcade sign falls down, some particle effects spewing out of it, and there is a door right there. That So we know that there's a room to the left of us. We see that this part is uh, broken off from the wall. And then we want to get rid of the turret. This and must be the football machine the Bastion told me about. They said that I need to get a score of three to get inside the manager's office. Okay, so we're going to shoot these in here. And that opens the door. This is the manager's office. We see the tire. This now should pick come in handy. Up. And when you pick up the tire, this falls down. There's another coin right here. Does this coin even fit in the arcade machines? And that is the end of my level. Alright, my name is James Bramer, I'm also part of Team Lettuce, and we are, this is my level, uh, it's called Facility. So after you exit uh, the arcade, you make your way around these destroyed cars here, and you'll make your way to this uh, destroyed building here with uh, this working, ar ar not arcade, the uh, console here. You just activate it, and it will take you down into the heart of the facility. It looks like the security room is locked. There's probably a key around here somewhere that I can use to get in. And so, with that information, uh, well, we can cha-ching, grab that cash. Uh, but if the player tries to uh, go through one of these doors, it'll say you have to activate the door uh, inside the security room over there. So he'll look around for that key uh, that was mentioned in the voiceover and find it behind the front desk here. There we go. So you can bring it over. Just throw it in there, and it'll stay in there. Alright, and the door... These must be the codes for the different sections of the facility. I bet I can use the security cameras to look at these later if I need to. Okay, yeah, so the door open, you'll be able to come in, see the, uh, the different codes there, and also have to uh, interact with this right there to, un or to unlock the doors to the rest of the facility. And... 
So we'll just start with wing A, though they can start with any of the others as well. It looks like that catwalk is broken. I guess I'll have to find another way around. Alright. <clears throat> so we'll be able to look around and see one key's up there already. You sort of see one's over there. Uh, but if they just look around, they'll be able to notice that they can't get up there. Um, so they'll have to uh, take one of these physics objects and just set it right there on the, the button. And that will raise these tanks up. And uh, the player will be able to start collecting the keys for this room. So we have the green one right there. We'll just leave it there for now. Just like, stay. There we go. All right. So we'll be able to run up the catwalk here and jump onto this uh, metal beam that fell out of the wall. And so we'll be able to drop down here, pick up this blue key. We'll just throw it over there for now. All right. And we'll just run on over this way. And so we'll just try to jump over there onto those platforms. All right, there we go. Got that collectible. Oh, crap. It fell off. Okay. So we'll just be able to grab that there. Um, and so now we need to find the code. So we'll, as a shortcut, we'll just activate this security console and see for wing A, it's blue, red, green. There we go. So over here. Green was in the last spot. Red was in the second spot. And then blue was in the first slot. Great. Now I can take this gold key to the vault. All right. So after that, the door opens, and we are able to grab this gold key. And as the voiceover said, we'll take it to the vault. So as we come through here, we'll be able to see there's a main vault sign up there. It looks like I need to get to the second floor. Maybe there's a way to lower that catwalk. All right, so uh, for convenience, we'll just throw that over there. And as the voiceover said, we need to lower that catwalk. So we'll just take a uh, physics object here and then move it over to the button. And we'll just activate that right there. And that will lower the catwalk. And we will just get on up there and come over here to the platforms all right jump over here and then jump onto this platform over here as well and the player will see another one of the jump pads and so we'll just jump up here um and so we'll grab the first key right here we'll just throw that over there for now And we'll throw, or just drop this one down there as well, because we'll need that later. Alright, there we go. Got the last key right here. Just drop that down. Alright, and so now we have all three keys there, one for each lot over here, interact with this, look at the, the code for wing B, which is red, green, blue. Alright, so we'll have red, blue there on the last slot, and then green in the center. Great, now I can take this gold key to the vault. All right, that door opened as well, you can grab this gold key. And we'll also just throw this one back there as well. And this is wing C, so... I need to get into that control room. Maybe there's a way to access it from the second floor. So as we see, uh, obviously, there's a control room here, and uh, the player, if he tries to get in, realizes the door is locked, or just not working yet. So we'll go with what the voiceover said, and try accessing it from the second floor. We come up here. Uh, see some debris. We'll just move that out of the way. Uh, while we're up here, might as well just grab this green key. There we go. We'll just throw that down there for now. And so we'll drop down. See another key here. Uh, but we'll just.
move one of these physics objects over here onto the, the button and that uh, brings in the platforms here so uh, the door is still locked so we have to come over here and interact with that and that unlocks the door so we'll just go ahead and grab this uh, blue key here since we have it in there and we'll just bring it out and throw it over there Right there we go. So now we have three of the the apparently four keys for this room. So uh, there's a spot up there which we can now get to because of the platforms. All right. So we'll come back up here. Now since we have the platforms that we can get to, jump onto here, jump over here as well, and we're up in this area. Have to. Or, whoops, there we go. We'll just make our way back through here. There we go, and we can just drop down. Now we have all of these. Let's go over here. Interact with that, and we can see the code for this swing. It's green, pink, blue, red. All right. So we have green. Pink, blue, and red. Great. Now I can take this gold key to the vault. All right. There we go. And we got this gold key here. For the, the last one that we need. So we'll just take this and put it over here with the rest of them. This code looks different. All of the keys are the same color. Maybe it's solved by the order that I insert the keys. All right. So... Yeah, as the voiceover said, all the keys are the same color, so we need to find out which order we put them in. So, we go back over here, and it says for the main vault, center, right, and left. Alright, so we'll just grab one of these keys, put it in there in the center, and over here in the right, and then the last one there is in the left. And that unlocks the main vault area here. And so we go in. I need to get to that control room over there. Maybe I can activate the bridge to get across and deactivate those turrets. Alright, so here uh, the control room's over there and we there's currently no way to get across. And those turrets right there will try to shoot us if they can see us. So we'll just get over here. Try to stay as close to the wall as we can so the turrets don't shoot us. Uh, get the collectible there. And so we have a button here. We'll just put another fizz object on it. Make sure that stays there. There we go. Alright, and so that will extend the, uh, or one half of the bridge that we need to get across. Alright, there we go. And jump over here to the second side as well. There's some debris in the way, so we'll just move that out of the way. And again, just grab another fizz object, put it there on the button, and the other half extends. And so now we have a full completed bridge there. Just run back over here, drop down, and you can just run across the bridge here. All right, and so we see a collectible there. Uh, this is the engine part. This should come in handy. There we go. We grab the engine part that we need. Uh, also have a console here. So we just activate that to to uh, deactivate the turrets here. So now the turrets are no longer looking at us, and they won't shoot us. And so we can just uh, you know leave the vault, and that's the end of my level. Hi, my name is Brendan. This is my level, the laboratory. On play, I can just walk up to either one of the consoles and open up the door. I should probably check these computers to see if I can find anything useful. Alright. So, this computer contains code. Player should remember these codes. 
Um, these calls are randomized, generated, and it will not always be the same. Alright. That the, console should unlock the security on the power generator. Alright, in the generator room, um, player will have to, there's a lever for the player to turn on. This will unlock the security for the lever switch. The player press E on it, you can turn the lights back on. Ooh, a green cube. It looks radioactive. Um, the player can keep moving after he turns on the light. If he does not turn on the light, there won't be any lighting in the further down the level. So the player I will have look to for a safe before heading to the, next the area. flashlight. The um, player discuss over these terrains and what comes to the next room. So open up the door. The next room. Ooh, a green cube. Some it looks radioactive. Ooh, a green cube. It looks radioactive. This should come Ooh, in handy. A green cube. It looks radioactive. Player will have to crouch on this pillar to move over to the door. Look, a minefield. I should probably watch my step. Alright, there's a minefield and some fallout pillars. The player will have to navigate his way around to get to the door. First, they should get the passcode to unlock the security. Ooh, a green cube. It looks radioactive. They will have to jump over the first set of mines or just walk in between them. Over here, the player will have to crouch under this fallen pillar and he can reach the door. Ooh, a green cube. It looks radioactive. In this room, the player will have to put a Audrey onto that button to get the door to open. This console should unlock the door to the exit. 